Hello, welcome back to my studio. Today you see my live setup from stage down here in my studio. There are some more keyboards, oh, but we don't care about them. So that's the Kronos, the SV1, the iPad with the Kronos remote app. My backbook with main stage and my RME Fireface you see sound card. So that's my setup from the stage. And today I'm going to show you how I connect all those instruments and the computer with audio and with MIDI. So this setup for me is quite good for a cover band. I use it in every cover band I play, like cover band, tribute band, for a wedding player, whatever. That's it, because I need a lot of songs in all those bands. If you play with an original artist, you know artists have special needs. So if I go on tour with an artist, I change the setup. Maybe there is no iPad, no sheets allowed on stage. Maybe I just need one keyboard. Maybe it has to look different, whatever. But for a cover band, that's my setup. How do I connect all the audio? First, I go audio out from the Kronos to the audio input of the SV1. And then from the SV1, audio out to my sound card. Main stage is going audio out via USB to the sound card. And then I'm going out from the sound card to the front of the house mix. And the second output is for my in-ears, for my backpack. But if I use in-ears, I need the rest of the band on my ears. So I use the first input to get the rest of the band from the mixer. So that's it. I just use the SV1 as a MIDI controller. So the local keys are off. I play sounds of the Kronos or main stage sounds with the SV1. But if something is not working and I had it twice in the last 10 years, the SV1 is a pretty good backup. Like having all those bread and butter sounds you need to continue the gig. Like pianos, e-pianos, organs, strings, even some synths. So this is my backup with brilliant sounds if the rest is not working. So the local is off. I just use it as a MIDI controller and the sounds are coming from the Kronos and from main stage. Second, the MIDI connection. For, for every song, you know I'm well organized. I made a list with all the cover songs I need in my bands. With all those well-known songs you have to play as a wedding player or in a tribute band or wherever. And for every song I have one bank and one program number. That's the same in main stage as well as in the Kronos. And I work in the setlist mode. So I got the setlist here. I can change the order of the setlist of the combinations I use with the Kronos remote app before the gig. I just drag and drop the setlist, the songs for this concert. And when I play the concert, I have the sheets I need with this app. I got the setlist over here in the Kronos. So normally I just have to click to next and the next song appears. If we jump around in the set, I can use the display of the Kronos and still have the sheet over here. So I go back to the old song and that works. So that's kind of a, of the soul of my setup. Okay, so the MIDI connection. First, I have my iPad with the Kronos remote app connected to the Kronos. My Kronos is sending MIDI via Bluetooth MIDI to my computer. That works pretty good. And I got no cable. The SV1 is connected to the computer via USB cable. So that's the third cable from the SV1, the audio cables and the USB cable going from the keyboards to the computer, nothing more. So if I want to play a main stage song with the SV1, it's just sending to main stage, that's fine. If I want to play a Kronos sound with the SV1, it's sending on MIDI channel 
1 to main stage and main stage is going MIDI through channel 1 to the Kronos. On the Kronos, in a combination, those programs I want to play with the Kronos itself, those programs have the MIDI channel number 7. I changed the MIDI channel of the Kronos basic channel to 7. Those programs in the Kronos I want to play with the SV1, they have the MIDI channel 1. Okay, and if I want to play main stage sounds with the Kronos, I just go external on MIDI channel 1 to main stage. Alright, so I hope uh, I could help you a little bit um, explaining how I connect my keyboards. Um, hope to see you next time for the next video. Bye-bye.